time for just a couple more questions. I just want to have some fun questions. So one of them is, I've sometimes been criticized for commenting on the science of movies. And in the movie Gravity, uh, Sandra Bullock's bangs always pointed down. And uh, I'm looking at your hair now doing its thing, doing its zero G thing. And so uh, I, I, I'm just curious. Um, I don't know. I guess that wasn't a question. I just want to tell everyone, look at your hair um, in space, in zero G. The hair does not know which way down is. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yep, that's absolutely true. I think our special effects are a little bit better up here, maybe, than uh, in the movie Gravity. But um, for me, I was really surprised that not only did my hair not float sideways, it actually just goes straight up, which makes sense in retrospect. But you don't really even expect that much. But of course, there is no sideways in space if there is no down or up. So uh, one, one final question. Uh, being in zero G presumably would make you your stomach queasy at some point, certainly initially. So... I am certain at least one of you have thrown up in the space of the space station before. So how do you clean that up if it's just scattering everywhere? Actually, both of us have been extremely fortunate, and neither of us have had the opportunity to experience that. Um, not that it could, couldn't still happen for some other reason, but I think we're probably past that risk period. But we do, of course, prepare for it because it does strike many astronauts, and you know, you don't really know who it's going to be. You can't really prepare for it. So we have special motion sickness bags that we fly with us in the spacecraft and that we have up here in case anyone needs them. Because, like you said, of course, it's going to be very difficult to contain. And I remember seeing that in person on several flights that I did on the par on parabolic flights on what we call the vomit comet and observing some people that tried to utilize the bags and missed and that makes for quite a mess especially with a plane because then you experience experience the 2g but we are equipped really to deal with that and to deal with any kind of medical situations up here with our training and all of our supplies on the space station well excellent guys thanks for taking the time for star talk radio and we got you on video as well and so very much appreciated this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Neil. It was our pleasure. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes our event.